Bardo! Why do you look like a common thief? You look like a prisoner, a felon, a convict. Father, I am a convict, convicted behind these walls with nowhere to escape. Where did you get the alacrity to speak with such pompadity? Don't be so quick to admonish him. Don't be judgmental. I am a judge of the high court. So what? I have experience in pronouncing sober judgment. That doesn't give you the moral authority to call your son a hotla and a convict. This is my son. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Portia. I am a pharmacist. I dispense prescription medication. I am the proprietor of Bosch Pharmacy. I have pumped so much money into that pharmacy. My name is Apollo. I have been employed in this pharmacy as a pharmacy assistant. I am a professional pharmacy assistant committed to the safety of medicine. That is my husband. His name is Justice Agostino, a celebrated judge of the High Court. And this is my son. He's called Stefano. I am a Form 3 student at County Boys High School. My father does not want me to extend my sleep. This morning, Any students must wake up early to face the day with the determination of a reptile. Stefano is not a reptile. Even a crocodile sleeps for a while before it becomes agile and mobile. That is correct. Father, father, don't you remember what my grandfather said? Agostino? Yes, my father. The father is still a juvenile. His brain is still fragile. The inadequate rest is volatile. It will turn his brain docile and make him see Father, nice. your sentiments are futile. Your bleeding. 90% of mental illnesses are due to degeneration of brain tissue because of poor wellness of the mind. Exactly! That is what my teacher of guiding and counseling said. This family is under my jurisdiction. I am the de facto authority in this house. Agostino, Father. it is absurd and ironical that you are displaying disobedience to my instructions. Agostino! Father! Enough! You are piling pressure in my head. I have a pile of court cases to defend. Father! Agostino! Father. Father. You are piling pressure in my head. I have a pile of prescription medication to dispense. Dispensing medication without a doctor's prescription will lead to your prosecution. Who are you? My name is Brutus. Brutus? I am a government inspector. I am here to inspect this pharmacy. But this pharmacy Can does not. Send the street pharmacies sell medicine to my nurse. We don't do that here. You promise yeah, it. Do you see? This is one of the children to whom you sell and prescribe medication. This is my son. Your son. His name is Brian. He's the reason I cannot dispense medicine to children without a doctor. Medicine is poisonous. If mishandled, it should be kept away from my mouth. The safety of children is our priority. I request Brian! You. you are giving me too much pressure. This is the chemistry textbook. But you are dead. But father. Now get out. Father. Out! Brutus, mm -mm. please be considerate. No. If you shut down this pharmacy, how do you expect me to fend for my son? I am not a charity. I am Brutus, a government inspector mandated to close outlets that flout regulations. But now we are law abiding. Mm. Brutus! Oh, Has too much pressure. Stefano, Stefano, my son. Where are you going? I had requested my father if I could go and visit my grandfather. What are you talking about? Father, I miss my grandfather, his farm, his animals. His... You will visit him in December. But father, I did not visit him last December because he was sick. You promised me that I will visit him 
Your ring to his half time break. Mm, there is no half time break. For his students, you must work hard. You must excel in your exams. Mother, mother, mother. I scored a B plus in my last exam. You must score an A. You must become a judge like me. When I am still alive, I will put pressure on the system to fix you in somewhere as a magistrate. But I don't want to be a judge. I want to be a farmer. Hey, a farmer. A farmer. A farmer. A farmer. A farmer. Stefano. Stefano. Are you deluded? Stefano. Come. Understand the parable. These farmers uh, are poor people. Mm -hmm. Farmers are not poor. My grandfather is not poor. Farmers feed the nation. I also want to feed the nation. You do not have the local standing. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. My father sent me here 
He said, he's under some pressure. It, is it fine? He cannot afford to abscond duty. That pharmacy will not pay its creditors. I will have to go. I don't want pressure. Oh, sure. I have pumped so much money into that pharmacy. Do you want to kill me with pressure? <laughs> Everything is arranged 
Indulge them. The prescription. What prescription? Are you playing tricks on me? With all due respect, sir, I cannot dispense medicine without a doctor's prescription. My head, Mr. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. My head is Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. Can't you see that he is under pressure? Mr. Marcus. He must teach my son. My son must go and aid. I know, Mr. Marcus. He teaches my son to. I have to prepare a lesson plan. Lesson plan. Lesson notes. Lesson notes. And schemes, schemes of, work. of work. All before the end of the half term break. In addition, he must attend the teacher's induction. What did you call it? CMEC. Teacher mentor coach. And there is another big elephant in the room. What is the name of that elephant? Teacher Teacher performer. A prison. I suck. Unfortunately, Mr. Marcus. No prescription, no medicine. You will be prosecuted for professional negligence. And I will be sitting in court to make a ruling. Ah, oh, justice. Ah, I have not committed any crime. I am just avoiding unnecessary pressure. Malum, prohibitive committing murder while hiding behind professionality. Justice, I have a family. I have responsibilities. Life is so stressful. I don't want pressure. Justice. Mr. Marcus. I have seen that this pharmacy is full of confusion. And my head is expanding like a binomial expansion of an exponential. Oh, I can't solve this equation. Let me just go home and die like a child with malnutrition. Justice. Go to the hospital, let the doctor examine him, then the doctor will prescribe the right medicine. Mr. Marcus, Mr. Marcus, Mr. Marcus. This is not a hospital, this is a pharmacy. Where 
do we go? What do we do? Where do we hide the money? You stay in your father's house. Ask many, many, many rooms. Please, the bond. Show me one room. Show me the next room.
no escape. Yes. This is your skunk, and you must carry it. We are all in trouble. We will be jailed for murder. Wait, 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 wait. When my father arrives, we will all be in trouble. My father is an authoritarian judge. This place will be declared a scene of crime, and we will all be sent to jail. I will have to go. I don't want to be jailed. I do. Machado should be held responsible. He is culpable and criminal. Do you expect me to stand here and act like a stunt? You are dreaming. I am going home. You, you are, are going, going nowhere. nowhere. I did not invite myself here. Stefano did. He should be responsible. <laughs> She buys Amoxil and Brufen from the chemist. There is no Amoxil. What about Panadol and Brufen? No pharmacist will sell you drugs without a doctor's prescription. Machayo! I buy Piriton and Amoxil without a prescription. What are you telling us? Excuse me, sir. I need help. Stefano, where is your prescription? It is malaria. Malaria. And ulcers. Ulcers. My friend. Has collapsed. Your friend? Yes. We were doing my assignment when he suddenly developed a headache and hotness of the body. What is happening in your house? Your father was here with a headache. You are here with a headache. Pressure, pressure. Apollo, I am under pressure. Stefano, is that you? Cuca. Stefano, my friend. Cuca. Stefano. Cuca. What are you doing here? Are you sick? No. Why are you talking about me? What is happening? You are dead! Me? Dead? You took cough syrup and died! You see? You see? You said that I murdered him! I am a spit and a fiddle! This is my grandfather. His name is Kuka Zebedayo. Zebedayo, take your grandson out of this place! But why? I came here to save Kosha the owner of this pharmacy. I brought a fresh fruit from the village to prepare for my great grandson, Stefano. Kuka, what is it? Master? I came here to pay for medicine. Don't tell me you have also fallen sick like your father. His friend went to my visit. My friend came to visit me, and unfortunately, he collapsed. Stop! Stop it! We have to leave this place. This house is under pressure. If Stefano does not come back, in the next two minutes, we better leave. Oh. Shh. Somebody is coming. You brought us here. Please don't shout. Oh, we shout. Bravo. Bravo. It is illegal to dispense medicine to children. I am his guardian. Give me the medicine. I will ensure. Kuka. What is it? I am not leaving this place. Why? Kuka, if you don't take me with you, I'll rather stay here. The rest of my house I'm praying. Stefano, what are you talking about? When we go together, I will convince your father to release you. No! My father's determination is final. He is like a prison warden, standing at the gate of prison. With a whip, ready to crush any Nothing is natural. The trees 
artificial. Even the food is artificial medicine. The conversation are artificial. Kuka. What is it, my grandson? Inside those gates lies a tunnel that has squeezed me into a conflict. Life in that house is like this virtual reality. Nothing is natural. I cannot stay there. Stefan! 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 Wait! Allow you shoot your video. 
We all need to enjoy the Christmas show. Makofi, Makofi, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. Eric Omondi, a president of Comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman. Pedi wa magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa stories za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. Na uende dori. Subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa uwewe finya.